In this Sun Showdown video, I'm going to show you why the suppressed windfield is the best weapon for especially solo players, but the windfield in general is a very decent gun. Let's start with the video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and as always, first rule for this video, grab any drink you like before you start with this video and right now let's jump into the suppressed windfield as a very very solid weapon for solo players and the reason for that is quite simple. In Hunt Showdown sounds are very loud, especially gunfire and footsteps can be recognized over a huge distance and that's why especially solo players should think twice about which information are they giving away and that's why the windfield suppressed is so handy. But first of all let's check out some stats we have 110 damage, we have a rate of fire of 50 RPM and the suppressed windfield is a lever action rifle. What that means is, and that's very important, you have to invest 5 points. 3 of them for levering. This perk is so incredibly strong. The windfield suppressed with levering is a MVP item in Hunt Showdown, especially if a, as a solo player. And you should spend your next two points into the iron repeater perk. You will remain in your iron sights while reloading after you fired a shot with lever action rifled. So five points, not that much after you survived one raid, levering and as I said, iron repeater in combination with the suppressed windfield. This is going to be a very powerful weapon for solo players because silenced weapon in Hunt Showdown are the complete opposite in terms of sound mechanics. Suppressed weapon in Hunt Showdown are incredibly quiet. On top of that, what I really recommend, we only have a muzzle velocity of 250 meter per second, but you can upgrade your windfield suppressed with the high velocity ammunition. And after that, we have a muzzle velocity of 450 meter per second. I would really recommend doing that. On top of that, I have another rule of thumb and I would recommend that, especially if you are a solo player, if you're playing the Springfield or any other low fire rate weapons, I would recommend play a low fire rate weapon with a higher fire rate weapon. That means playing this that means playing the Springfield or the Romeo or anything else with a low fire rate in combination with a revolver or a pistol or whatever with a higher fire rate especially pistols if you can use fanning or if you can play something with a medium slot and you have the perk that you can play a large slot and a medium slot, you can combine that. Imagine you have two weapons with a very low fire rate, you have to compete against, in most cases, two players and those two players can push you. They can, if they are not completely bad, they can put a higher pressure on you and you have to land your shots if you have a very low fire rate and in most cases this is going to kill yourself so i would really recommend high fire rate in combination with low fire rate the suppressed windfield is almost like a standalone weapon and you can combine it i like to pick up in my first round a pax or if you have the perk for a medium slot you can grab a shotgun or let's say a crossbow whatever you like but the pax is great same ammunition so you have a high amount of ammunition and as a, again if you play fanning and levering this combination is insane and it's so funny to see if you are engaging with your suppressed wind field your enemies are almost clueless because you are so quiet and using this for your advantage and you can put a high amount of pressure for your enemies what you also can do and especially for a solo player it's very great you can pick up the incendiary ammunition as i said you have a high fire rate especially with levering and you need two shots to burn your enemies and that's a great advantage especially if you are facing two opponents the incendiary ammunition if you can land your shots is very powerful i made a video about the incendiary ammunition and picking up the incendiary ammunition helped a lot if you can land your shots as i said and don't forget the suppressed wind field is also very cheap 55 bucks for the basic version if you want to play the high velocity ammunition you have to play extra 90 bucks and then send your ammunition extra 50 bucks. In my opinion, it's really worth because, as I said, the suppressed windfield is so cheap. How to play as a solo player and how to face teams is a topic for another video. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, it really helps because we Germans want to win at least something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. And see you in the next video.